Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. What's he talking about? Who knows? I don't really care either. <laughs> you said it, Ken. Stick it to the man. I have no intention of fighting you now. I only wished to see your faces. I can't fight you now. Then there would be no tension for the final boss. His world. Mizunuki's phrasing catches my attention. This could be an important clue to the culprit's motives. Could Miza and Minazuki mean that he instigated this in order to avenge someone whose parents or parent parent or parents were killed? Perhaps he's seeking revenge on the Shadow Operatives? No, that's not right. Given that they took Mitsuru-san's group hostage and summoned the others here, it seems more likely that Minazuki wants revenge on Mitsuru-san and her associates from high school. I'll be heading back now. Take your time. Minazuki raises his hand, a different voice echoes from further in. It's a voice I know only too well. Oh, there she is. What's going on? Another now, Takun? It's okay. Don't worry, Yukari. We'll explain in a minute. It's a really, really long. It's a good story, easily within my top ten favorite video game stories. But it's a long story. I'll explain it on the way to the tower. Don't be deceived. That's an imitation of me. That we shouldn't fight. Huh? That sounds like the kind of dirty trick they pull. They'd, you know, them. The dirty trick that they would pull. You gotta watch out. You gotta watch out for them. Huh. It seems I'll be facing those who are participating in the Grand Prix for the first time. I hate to waste time. So let's simply begin now. Bring on the brave! My doppelganger raises one hand to the sky. It means to summon the red pillars that form the arena. It's still, I'm still too badly injured to dodge this, but I can't allow us all to be trapped here. Everyone, get away from me! Hurry! <sighs> oh, because they're not going to let you play as the P3 characters in this campaign. So yes, yeah, so everybody jump away. So Naoto's going to fight her. All right. Yukari-san, Kodomaru, spread out! Yukari-san, Ken-kun, and Kodomaru-san jump back in response to my warning chat. Lavers, on the other hand, maintains her position, shielding me, making no attempt at all to move. Because she's a both character, so it's okay to play as her in both campaigns. Okay. Alright, uh, I see now. Yukari-san told Labris that I am trusting Naoto-kun with you, and Labris would never abandon her duties. Yukari-san and Ken-kun understand that as well, so Labris was not mentioned when Ken-kun gave the order to spread out. Very, effect very efficient teamwork. I feel that I understand the secret behind the Shadow Operative's strengths somewhat. The four red pillars that fall from the sky. Da -ba 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 -ba. Thank goodness you, Carson. The others seem to have escaped the pillars' field of influence. What's going on? Wait, what the? Where's the culprit? What? Wait, Why is everybody so obsessed he... with culprits? So aren't there other terms? The perpetrator. The we we don't even have a perp because the sec with the mo's got a perf al. No, it's we don't have a perp. We have a sus. We don't have a sus because the sec with the mo's got a perf al. That's how it goes. Okay. Now that you mention it, I too realize for the first time that Mizunuki is nowhere to be seen. Mizunuki's presence is completely gone. It vanished from the from the area just suddenly as it appeared behind me. <laughs> like I said, I'll be your opponent. Yeah, yeah, let's go. A version of myself supposed to death, and the machines just joined Shadow Would be pretty sorry for it. So just this once, while no attacks are still allowed. Invisible walls. <laughs> That's just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Yukari, you <laughs> loser. Yukari san tries to take a step forward and hits her head badly on the invisible wall. Er, perhaps I gave them too much credit before. It's possible that these shadow operatives are, in fact, surprisingly careless! <laughs> this is just like the last P1 Grand Prix. Except we're in the real world. Why are we bothering with the Teddy and the Rise announcers still? General Teddy here. Long time no see, Labby chan Punch you in the face! Oh, don't be so shocked. Let's see if I can guess what you were thinking. Seven! No! 
You're supposed to be my shadow. Whoa. Or something like that. Is that Inaba's persona user, Teddy? He doesn't look like a bear to me. He just looks like a plush mascot. <laughs> you dressed up like that on purpose? <laughs> They're all so confused. It doesn't make any sense. Why is Japan like this? We need to go to a better country. There. Just kidding. Silence in the peanut gallery. How dare you call my bona fides into question? I'll have you know I look bare-ripping. He's talking to Koromari specifically. He doesn't care about Ken Yukari. Crap, you heard me. This is your last chance to push your luck like that. Chan and now Chan aren't getting out of here until you win a one-on-one -on -one fight. So, are you okay with that? Are you gonna move on without- Will you shut up? Oh, yeah, we gotta fight. Fine. We gotta fight. Let's we know. Let's do this. I'll go in. No, please move on. Huh? You can't let him provoke you. The culprit's aim is to make us fight against our doubles, thereby carving off our personas. Carve off our personas? Yeah, I don't know that one either. I can't. I honestly don't have an explanation for that one yet. Mitsuru-san and the others are within the tower on the hill. It won't be easy, but try and avoid combat with the imitations as you rescue them. Okay, Labrys, we're leaving the rest to you. Do 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 left you behind. I guess that's the extent of this friendship you go on about. Yeah, man, that was a... Wow, cutting me deep. I can't possibly think of a response. My resolve fading. I might as well just kill myself. That's ah. not true. What, what about, about it is not true? I flemmed a little bit there. That was kind of gross. You clearly have no understanding of the bonds between people. There was bonds. What she said. They didn't ditch us. Yukari-san believes in me. So that's why she changed. Yeah, 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 we know. I'm gonna make sure to knock you out of the park myself. Knock you out of the park. I'll knock you right out of the park. Oh, so we aren't getting we aren't getting, we aren't we don't even get the choice to play as Naoto, because Naoto is there I thought I thought they were just gonna say, oh well she's wounded, but whatever, you can still play as her. But they're making they're making us play as uh Labrys. Acceptable. I haven't played much as Labrys. This should be interesting. I think I can still probably win though. I'll use my robot powers. Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's not what you do. That's not what you do at all. Whoa! Darn! Fight! Fight! Win! Ah! We're just dare dodging around each other. Nobody's hitting anybody. It's pathetic. There we go. I might just have to auto combo my way through this, because I don't know any of her persona moves off the top of my head. It's been too- I haven't played as her in a long time. There we go. Yeah, auto combo is acceptable, honestly. Whoa! Watch out for that. Uh-oh. No! Cut it out! Boosh, there, I killed you by hitting you in the knee with the butt of my giant robot axe. It's only natural! What a fantastic battle! You must have gathered a good many Persona Fragments just from that. Yeah, yeah, whatever, you're evil, Persona Fragments. Woo! Going up into the sky! The other me melted to a puddle at the center of the food court, it's most unpleasant sight to behold. <clears throat> They're gone. Let's go catch up to the others. I hear a cracking sound and turn to see that the red pillars that had trapped us shatter. The invisible walls should be gone Is as well, okay, but... Is it okay, We ended up fighting this thing. There was no getting around it. Our enemy has Mitsuru-san, her friends, and this town hostage. Besides, we had no means of escape. So, everything was set up perfect. Who do you think that Minazuki guy is? I don't know, but... <laughs> Oh Jesus, she she's really hurt. Oh no, Naoto, please. Just pull out some cola. That's how they heal in Persona 4, right? They just drink tap all the time. I haven't completely recovered from Minazuki's strike yet. Naoto kun! Uh, my body may be damaged, but I still have my mind. Labris promptly lends me her shoulder. This may be an odd thing to say. But it's at times like this that I truly feel I've made friends. 
Not that I'd ever say such things in front of my senpai. <laughs> thank you, Labrys. You truly saved my life. Come on, no need to thank me. I told you it was my turn to help you guys out. But what about you, Konanan? Wait, oh, that's the perfect music for this situation. I can't think of any other music to use for this specific situation. We inform each other of what's happened up to this point and exchange information. Labrys' team went to investigate Inaba Pass, where Mitsuru-san's group went missing, and we're headed here after filling up on gas. While we spoke on the phone, midnight struck, and she saw the change in the town from the air. It seems that the red fog suddenly rose up to cover the town, and a giant tower appeared on the hill where Yasagami High is situated. In addition to Yukari-san, Ken-kun, and Komaru-san, there's a man in town by the name of Junpei Inori, whom they haven't yet been able to meet up with. All told, the Shadow Operative sent four people, or rather three people, and a dog. That's hey! That's offensive. That's why like I, I can't believe you would do that well, now, Tom. I didn't think I thought you were more forward-thinking than that. What in the world are they? The imitations seem to be crafted from shadows. I'm astonished that they can <clears> even <throat> copy our persona abilities. But that aside, let's hurry, Lapras. There's actually something I couldn't tell you guys on earlier. <laughs> Sorry, moving on now. Huh? What's that? What's that? What's what's that? What's that? That young man Minazaki's true objective. He's gathering persona fragments from us in an attempt to summon something hideous. Something hideous? Indeed. We we'll use the tower looming on the hill, just as Tartarus was used when Mitsuru-san and her friends were in high school. I don't know what in particular he intends to bring forth. There's no denying that his aim is something along those lines. Really? Oh yeah, I actually felt something odd about that guy myself. No. Labrys, I applaud you. Odd? In what way? Well, when I got close to him, I felt something strange. It was exactly like the feeling I get from those plumes of dust we have as cores. Interesting. Oh. Does this mean he had a plume of dusk in his possession? Not exactly. It wasn't that he had one on him. It was more like it was synced up with his heart. It felt just like ours do. So is he a ribbit? Synced with his heart? I mean, like, Labrys was built in 1999, right? Or was, 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 no, Labrys was done in 99, right? Or was, uh, okay, I guess or Labrys. They, I think they were both built in the 90s, so he could totally just be a modern robot that looks way, way better. I don't understand. The Plume of Dusk was integrated into the core of Labrys and her sister unit, Igasan. It plays the role of a heart in their mechanical bodies, but that man, Minazuki, seemed to be no different from us at first glance. What could it mean that she detected a Plume of Dusk in him? The faint light that's been scattered everywhere is gathering now, and I'm starting to see the outline of the truth, but there is still missing. Pe there are still missing pieces. We need to rescue Mitsuru-san's group and learn what they know, then I expect we'll be able to reach some sort of conclusion. Labrys looks into my face as I'm lost in thought and smiles to try and cheer me Relax. up. Relax! We'll never lose. You saw us fight earlier, right? Yukari-san and Kenkun can really kick some ass. Labrys speaks with satisfaction and with a proud look in her face. It's far cry from the Labrys I met a few days ago. Seems you've made some wonderful friends, Labrys. Huh? Oh, uh, You think it's okay for me to think of them that way? It's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> That's how it is at the start. Once you come to realize it, though, you'll find that it turns to a warm feeling within you. Huh. Is that how it was for you, Naotokun? Who knows? Perhaps it was. I recall when I first met my senpai and a smile forms on my lips. Uh, feeling a bit embarrassed at this, I pull the brim of my hat down over my eyes. It's not just Labrys. It's this, the same is true for me and many others that I've never met. We all go through this process uh, uh, to find what's precious and irreplaceable Let's to us. Let's go rendezvous with the others. Let's do it. If only you guys had cell phones with plumes of dusk in them. You stick them into helicopters, but you don't consider things like your cell phones. You need to be able to communicate when you're going through dark hour shenanigans. 
It's important for highly tactical teams like this to be able to stay in touch. Oh, w will we, if we can finally follow up with the most important group of all! Alright, yeah, hold on. Where are we in the... I, I mean, I, this is something approximating to a timeline, uh, even though it doesn't quite line up because the... Because Chie's uh, first thing is technically after, you know, midnight shenanigans start happening, and it, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's approximately a timeline. All right, so we're... All right, whatever. It doesn't, it's, not, it's not that important. I don't know why I'm freaking out over it. It's not that important. Are we only getting three more Risei things? Because I really want... Like, I was really looking forward to a ton of development for her character. I thought that'd be fun. Oh, well, play the game and find out. Uh, she might... I don't know. I don't know maybe, maybe they merge there. Who knows? We'll find out if we play the game. And... There's no more Naoto. Hmm. Maybe she only gets continued in P f in the P3 side, or maybe she merges with these guys. Who knows? Well, again, I keep asking for answers to these mysteries. I won't discover them if I don't play the game, which I'm doing right now by clicking on the thing. Saving Akihiko, it said. What a spoiler, right? Saving Private Akihiko. Coming to a theater near you. Bam, bam. <laughs> I forgot my phone stopped working. After Teddy's nose led us to Yasugami High, we saw what looked like the practice building and barged in. But I don't know how long it's been since then. We've been wandering down every corner of the school through this damn red fog, looking for the stairs. We're slowly going higher, but... <sighs> Was your school always this big? I think I'm done for. Look, my legs are turning into twigs. They were twigs to begin with. Quit your whining and get moving. I know. <laughs> Teddy, stop being such a scrub. Eh, I know Ted's got a right to complain. There's no knowing when the enemy might attack, and having to stay on guard all this time is tiring us out. Even Yukiko Senpai's got a hard look on that on her face. Well, it makes sense. I mean, the same goes for me, but these are her classmates we're talking about. Of course, she's worried about them. If school was always this big. I'd be late for class every day. <laughs> That's what you're worried about? Man, how the hell is this place hooked up? Oh, could we try opening up a window and climb up the walls? It's a good idea, actually. That's actually a really good idea. Does anybody have some rope? Does anybody have some rope? Grappling hook? Kanji, knit us, knit us a grappling hook. Do it. Get on that. Oh, freaking fake Teddy. Why? What is even the point? That's against the rules. Suddenly the TV on the ceiling turns on, and that weird Ted comes up on it. I don't really get this guy's deal. Can I just assume he's a fake Ted and leave it at that? Huh? The imposter's showing its face again. If you don't give up now, you're gonna get more than just a beating. What are you talking about, you moron? I'm the one who wants to punish you. Shouldn't you all be trying harder than this? Don't you understand the situation you're in? If you don't hurry, the world really is going to end! Yet you keep dallying around and wandering all over! None of you have any guts, I say! Your plan is really, like, your, your plan is well thought through and that you're getting us to fight very willingly and directly. But if your objective is to, for us to fight the maximum amount of people at a time, don't make the place a maze. You make it enough of a maze to imbue us with a sense of urgency. The feeling of, oh no, I really need to go fast. Because, like, you know, you have this whole time limit that you're setting, but if you really want us to be fighting people, have people show up to fight. It's your own dang fault that we're not fighting people right now. Shut up! Do you want to end the world or not? Which is it? If you didn't want us to get lost, you should have made us a straight path, damn it! This game keeps... This game keeps taking the words out of my mouth! Kanji, you're, again, once again, the least useless person in this group! defeat the purpose of the P1 Climax. It's only natural for the bad guys to be mean. <laughs> Fine. Now hear this. I, General Teddy, I'm going to give you a warning because I'm so tear-jerkingly nice. Open up those tiny ears. Can do. My ears are wide open. If you don't hurry up at once, the lives of the captive princesses will be in danger soon. What? Captain Princess is Akihiko. No, we've got to save him. Her, he, she. This ain't good. 
thinking about it, it's been a while since the first Midnight Channel broadcast. If Mitsuru's on her guys are already strung up at that point, it's no surprise they'd be exhausted. God damn this fake Teddy, what a dirty trick! <clears throat> oh! Kichan? What was that for? Hmm? Oh, sorry. Looking at that Teddy made me angry for some reason. Did she just punch the real Teddy because she looked at fake Teddy? How tyrannical! The bear on screen and adorable little moi are totally unrelated! Adorable little moi is totally unrelated! Don't copy me! Don't copy me! <laughs> the fake the fake Ted gives us one last smirky laugh to taunt Teddy before the red fog covers him up on the monitor and he's gone. Looks like we better hurry and find Mitsuru-san and rescue her gang too. You're right. We should focus on that before we head higher up. Alrighty then. Time to open up my bare nose once again. Wait. Huh? <laughs> Let's just throw Teddy out the window. Teddy, you try climbing up. We'll look fly ourselves. Why do you keep turning our way when you sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> it's no use. The red fog's been so thick ever since we got into this building. My nose isn't working at all. Wear some, like, wear some glasses for your nose, man. It's easy. Try harder, Teddy. Hmm. Well, if Yuki-chan gave me a big fat kiss, I think I could try harder. Yeah, you guys remain completely useless. The world is going to end in an hour. Well, I think I could try harder if somebody, you know, gave me a little kiss on the lips. Enough of this bullshit. Hurry up and put that nose of yours to work. M -m my nose is very delicate. Searching through this fog makes my sneezing unstoppable. Don't worry, Teddy. I have lots of tissues. <laughs> Yuki-chan, are you doing that on purpose? I don't need tissues. I need smooches. You can do this, right, Teddy? <laughs> Pay me no mind. Mm, Teddy knows. Full on searching. Feeling the pressure from Yukiko's senpai's icy smile, Teddy starts twitching his nose every which way. I don't get how that counts as full on searching, but I can tell he's desperate. Maybe the whole unconquerable snow black thing's got some truth to it. Um, I do sense something, but what? Oh, here we go! I smell something like Michon and her friends from over there. Oops. Man, this guy is doing some absolutely phenomenal sneezing sounds. Said nobody. You got your snot all over me. You're doing this on purpose, huh? Well, all that aside, Teddy's nose is all we got to go on for now. When we go in the direction he pointed out, we can sort of barely see the door to the music room at the end of this hall. Nice! That means someone from Mitsuru-san's crew is there. Feeling better about this, I grab the door and pull it open with enough force to BUST IT DOWN! GET OUT OF MY WAY, DOOR! Draw! Figure there's a hostage in there, there's gotta be a fake here too. And if that's the case, I'll give him a little fist sandwich as soon as I see him. Ooh, Whoa, it's it is the real. That? Okay, wow. Who's that? Ah, we found a crucified hockey! Hang in there! Dang, he's so muscular <gasps> though. What a horrible thing to do. He's not really crucified, he's just I mean like I not not to not to like undermine the value of of torture method that they're doing right now. It's not like he's been nailed to the thing or anything. He's strapped up, which is incredibly exhausting, but at least he's not bleeding out. Damn it! Akihiko-san is up on a cross, just like they showed on the Midnight Channel. He's limp like he's unconscious, and seems pretty out of it. Damn! I remember this guy being pretty strong, too. If they could do this to a guy like him, then whoever we're up against might be tougher than we thought. The goofy mood from a second ago goes away in a snap. And we start inching back, his, back to back while checking out our surroundings. And that's when I notice there's another guy in the corner of the classroom. I've never seen him before, which means... Hey, Pops! Are you the goddamn culprit? Pops? You mean me? Shh, shh. Youngins these days are so rude. Those darn youngins! The guy who comes out as some suspicious-looking dude with a bat and a goatee. He sure looks shady enough to be the culprit. Huh? Is he really the culprit in this? He seems a little flaky. Trash talking me already, huh? I'm the lethal weapon of the Shadow Hours. Junpei Ori's fake. <laughs> Junpei Ori's fake. Oh, 
So you're a fake? We don't actually know the real one, so how shocked should we act at learning you're the fake? <laughs> it's like, what's the value to this? I don't understand. What the hell is this guy saying? I can't tell if he's here to mess with us or make us laugh. What's he doing mixed in with the fakes of us? Anyway, your game ends here. Here goes! Play ball! And they drop the ring, and the things fall, and they're like, uh-oh, the ring, we gotta fight, red pillars, and saying this with the details, oh, ass whooping. The real Junpei Iori, at your service. Nice! <laughs> Best timing in the world. Just when I thought I heard a voice from, I thought, I, just when I thought I heard a voice from up above, something comes falling down. Could that be? That's the sound effect you want for Junpei dropping into the scene. <laughs> That's awesome! That's perfect! <laughs> what a loser! He's not moving at all. I guess he's out cold. What a loser! That's perfect! I knew it! A dude was a dude who looks just as flaky in capitals. <laughs> a dude who looks just like flaky here is stuck on the invisible ceiling stretched between the red pillars. He's caught in one hell of a pose. Even the fake is grumbling. That dude's no ordinary guy in a way. All the tension from a second ago is pretty much shot now. Well, that's good for us since it helps us relax. All we gotta do now is beat down this Another fake. Damn mumbling. I'll crush you like an egg, so let's get to it. Mm -hmm. We need to make him take responsibility for doing such a horrible thing to Akihiko-san. I don't really care about Aki, but I never forgive an evildoer! Wow, they're totally pissed. Good thing the rules say this has to be one on one. Alright, youngins, feel free to come at me. Oh, I haven't played as Kanji at all, but I already played as Yukiko and Teddy, and I don't like I don't have a preference to either of them because I haven't played as them very much. So I'll play as Kanji just for the purposes of you know playing as Kanji because it'll be fun. I haven't done it yet. Playing as Kanji, let's do it. He's a, mostly a throw character, so I guess I'll try doing some grabs and some smackdowns and some throwdowns and all that sort of thing. We'll see where it goes. Oh man, he is so slow! He's so slow! He's so slow! I gotta beat you up fast, but I'm too slow to beat you up fast! Crap! Crap! Man, he's slow. There we go. That's what you want. <laughs> no, come on. Stay back. No, please leave me alone. I'm just a child. Yeah, get out of my face. Yeah, that's what you want. All right, sweet. Let's do it. Yeah. All right, let's do it. I love Kanji's Insta. I had to do it. <laughs> Knuckle sandwich! Literally! <laughs> now you're dead because I killed you. Oh, he's gone. Baseball man is a... It's baseball! Right. It's all... In your face, damn it! Time for a fist pump. That fake seemed like an idiot, but he was pretty impressive. No wonder he's this something or uh, operative's, uh, little webbing? Something like that. I guess this means the real one's pretty strong, too. And now Junpei falls on their heads. That's when I hear the red pillars shatter, and something comes falling down. Oh, yeah, I forgot someone was stuck up there. Oh, crap. Wasn't he unconscious? Hey, Junpei Iori, at your service! Sorry. Before we have time to worry, that Junpei guy lands right next to the melting fake with a loud thump. So basically, we've, we've now solidly divided us up into the plot group, the secondary plot group that is going to be the plot group of the Persona 3 story, and the idiot group. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, he fell pretty far from up there after all. He's okay. In any sense, I mean. <laughs> In uh, any sense. I don't know. 
Anyway, we explain quick about our fakes and all the other crap that's happened to Junpei san. It seems like he's doing okay. It seems like he came to Inaba because he heard Mitsuru san's crew went missing, but he got lost in this school. He happened to spot Akihiko san and us from the connecting passageway and jumped down from there, but he had the worst timing. Or the best. It would have been, pretty great com it would have been a pretty great comedy stunt. At any rate, we. Hurry to the cross and get Akihiko, -san get Akihiko san down quick, but he hasn't come down straight away. Looks like he's pretty drained. Akihiko san, are you okay, Akihiko san? Damn it. Who did this to you? Um, you're one of the shadow operatives, right, Junpei san? Huh? Yeah, I am, but how do you guys know about that? Hey, weren't you using personas too? Junpei is also pretty much. I mean, he might be he might be higher than these guys, but he's also he's, he's teetering on the edge of useless tier. It looks like Junpei san really doesn't know, so we end up having to explain everything in detail, including our fight against Akihiko san and his friends in the P1 Grand Prix the other day. So that's how Akihiko san got caught. I'm still kind of fuzzy on this stuff about the TV world and whatnot, but I think I get the gist of it. Oh, right. I never introduced myself properly. I'm Junpei Iori. People call me the Shadow Operative's lethal weapon. And by people, I mean, you know, me and, uh, and, uh, my, uh, my, um, um, me and, uh, 